Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a topic which has evolved in a gigantic manner in the last 10 years or so, especially with respect to generic applications, generic regulatory applications, that is ECTD submissions or electronic submissions of your regulatory applications. Let's get started. So what all uh, topics we are going to cover in today's segment are introduction to electronic submissions, paper versus ECDD, ECDD submission checklist, ECDD life cycle management and submission gateway. So here we are going to uh, discuss uh, predominantly regarding submissions to USFDA that is related to the US market. Now let's begin with the introduction part. So we are all aware of the CTD triangle. Okay, the ICH CTD triangle. This is basically how the documents are to be assembled and submitted to the respective regulatory agency. So uh, there are basically five modules. That is module one, module two, module three, module four and module five. So module one is not part of ICH because it's a regional module. So whatever are the specific requirements of the particular region, this module is prepared according to those requirements. Module two comprises of all the summaries, summaries of the quality documents, summaries of non-clinical documents and summaries of the clinical documents. Module three are all the a compilation of the quality documentation module 4 non clinical documents and module 5 are the clinical documents so the ctd ich ctd basically describes how the documents are to be compiled and submitted for modules 2 to module 5 module 1 is not a part of ich ctd Now, what is ECTD? ECTD is electronic CTD or electronically submitted common technical document. So, any submission that is assembled in the CTD format, that is ICH CTD format, and submitted electronically is called as ECTD. So, what basically it complies of is uh, comprises of is CTD modules compiled then converted with ec converted to ectd with software ectd is an interface for industry to agency transfer of regulatory information considers facilitation of creation review life cycle management and archival of electronic submission usually regulatory operations a sub department of ra personnel do these activities so this is a general uh, introduction of ECTD. We all know what is CTD. We all know how the documents are supposed to be submitted, which document goes in which module, and uh, what all are the requirements of individual documents. We have seen all that. Now we are going to see how the actual submission needs to be done to the regulatory agency in the form of an electronic submission. So, what the uh, what this ECTD basically does is the CTD modules, once they are compiled, all the documents are brought together, they are reviewed, they are finalized. Okay, all the documentation from various departments like the development department, the locations, the clinical department, all those departments, documentations are provided to regulatory. They are reviewed, they are finalized, then they are compiled, and then they are converted into electronic documents with the help of the ECTD software. Electronic documents, they are converted to electronic versions like PDFs and uh, XML files and they are finally put into the ECTD software to make a regulatory submission. So that is what the software basically does, an ECTD software will do. So what is an ECTD software? What is this ECTD? It is an interface that is like a middleman for the industry and the agency which helps in transfer of regulatory information so all the regulatory documentation all the information is provided by the industry 
to the regulatory agency via the ECTD through the ECTD channel. So it acts as an interface or acts as a middleman between these two entities. Now, what ECTD does is it considers facilitation of creation. So creation of the document, creation of the electronic document is done. Review is uh, enabled. Review by the uh, company who is making it means the regulatory person who wants to review the documents that also is facilitated as well as the regulatory agency can review the documents that is facilitated. Life cycle management means all the submissions related to that particular application come under one umbrella if you are doing an ECTD submission. So it is life cycle management means all the regulatory submissions related to one application we can be viewed in a single window if they are submitted electronically that is called as life cycle management and archival of electronic submission now as you know the life cycle of a product stretches on up to the time the product is not withdrawn from the market so till the time the product is alive and some of the other submissions related to that product keep on happening uh, to the regulatory agency. So all those submissions are archived in an electronic format. So even if, if the original submission was say 20 years ago or 25 years ago, even then all the documentation that was submitted in the original application was submitted in the all the amendments and supplements thereafter all will be archived in a systematic manner in the electronic submission. So ECTD facilitates archival of the electronic submissions also. That is a very big part. That is a very important thing because uh, none of the documents are unimportant till the time the product is alive. So all the documents, whatever have been submitted to the agency have to be uh, taken care of and archived properly. Now this activity, all this activity, we are talking about uh, compilation of the modules. Compilation means once the documents are reviewed and then they have to be converted into ECTD. So that work is done by a sub-department of uh, regulatory affairs, uh, which is called as regulatory operations or in some companies it is called as a publishing team. So they are usually experts in this ECTD submissions and uh, they generally carry out these activities. Now it is not a must that uh, such a sub department will be there in all companies. Usually bigger departments who have a lot many more submissions tend to have a sub department like this. Otherwise the regulatory person, the RA person who is also taking care of the review part will also take care of the ECTD part. So, but in bigger companies, yes, there is usually a sub department called as a publishing team or regulatory operations who takes care of the ECTD submission aspect.